What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Junior's Journey and if you're new here, welcome. We are continuing with our Closet Confessions series. My name is Mar and this is my closet. Yeah, this is the place that I come to pray. I come to sit and be with my thoughts. I come to figure out what I'm gonna wear for the day and for my videos, you know things that closets are for, right? What's been on my mind? Honestly, I know I've been struggling a lot when it comes to trusting God's timing. And I feel like that's something that a lot of us can relate to, especially coming to Christ. <laughs> if you hear um, someone playing with the toy in the background, that's my good old trusty puppy. So don't be alarmed, it's just my guard dog. Coming to Christ has made me realize so many things about myself, about my life, and also about the things that I honestly have no idea about. I used to think that I had the best grasp of life and I knew all there is to know about so many different things, but come to find out, I know absolutely nothing. Not to say that I'm like dumb or anything, like I don't know anything, but I realize that there are a lot of aspects about life that just throw me for a loop. I have absolutely no idea how certain things work. I believe that it all comes in with trusting God's timing. Recently, as I've mentioned in my last closet confession, I've been going through a lot of things and uh, my family has been going through a lot of things. Where going through a grieving process being the fact that we had a loss of a loved one and it's been really really difficult that loss has stirred up so many different emotions within each and every one of us and i love our church family for coming through and showing us so much kindness love support being shoulders to cry on and i love the fact that in midst of such tragedy and heartbreak that we were able to come together as a family to be with one another. All of this has stirred up within me that we know nothing. We know nothing about life because it can end in a split second. We know nothing about our lives because things can take such a drastic and dramatic turn. We think that we have an idea of where to go, but the thing is the Lord has different plans for us than what we expect. You know the saying, tell the Lord your plans and watch him laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't think that he'd laugh like that, you know, I wouldn't think that he'd be, you know, mean and laugh in our faces, but I'm sure we give him a good chuckle every now and again when we tell the Lord, this is what our plans are, this is what my plan is, and this is what I'm going to do, and nothing is going to be in my way, and no one can stand in between me and my goals, and blah, 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 and you know, the Lord goes, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Trusting God, I believe, is one of the hardest things that you can do as a believer. And I realize that that is something that I'm struggling with sometimes. Things may seem like they're not going quick enough, they're not going fast enough, that I, I don't know how to maneuver. Maybe if I try this, maybe if I do this, maybe if I just try to stick my fingers and everything and gain some sort of control. And then I realized in doing that, I have come to trust myself more than God. The Lord has told us to put no trust in any man, but all our trust in him. And I, I realized that that is such a hard thing to do sometimes. Because as human beings, we believe in the tangible, right? Seeing is believing. You know that saying, seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. We hear that all the time. I'll believe you when I see it. I'll trust it when you put it in my hands. But what happens when it's not put in your hands? What happens when you don't see it? Would you still believe it? I mean, if we as human beings can be so fallible and believe in things that we've never seen, it'll sound like nonsense. Like before we come to Christ, we'll believe a bunch of gossip and nonsense about somebody, 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 something about somebody, 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 and we'll believe that and it'll spread like wildfire. But believing that Jesus will do it for us, that pain that we have, that heartbreak that we're going through, that he'll heal that, that addiction that we struggle with, that he'll deliver us from that, the hardships financially that we're going through, that we'll overcome that with him. It's so difficult 
to trust God's timing and his ways are not our ways. And I find that to be something that's very, very difficult to grasp sometimes because we have a set vision and idea of where we want to go as individuals, as people. We have a set idea and goal in mind for ourselves. You know, the whole entire thing of a five-year plan. I hated when people asked me that question. Tell me your five-year plan. Bruh, I can't even remember or think about what I'm gonna have for breakfast. What? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and you're asking me about my five-year plan? It's incredible. I realize, here's my dog. She wants to cuddle. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Nothing goes according to plan. Things can go wrong. As human beings, we're not perfect. As humans, we have nothing that we can hold on to that is truly tangible. As it says in Ecclesiastes, there is nothing new under the sun. This world will pass away. It's going to pass away, will pass away. We're not even forever. I mean, through Christ, we have eternal life and everlasting life thanks to him. But so long as we're on this earth and we are in these bodies will pass away as believers i believe that we have to come to a place where we can sit back and just trust in the lord and what he has for us and his plans that he has for us i think that we'll be better off just relinquishing power just giving in because if you know deep down inside that god has your back and everything that he has for you is from the goodness that he is it kind of gives you a little comfort. I know it gives me some comfort knowing that the big things that I stress about, I don't need to stress about them. There's only so much that I can do. All right, girl. There's only so much we could do. <laughs> There's only so much that we can do. And when you realize that the so much that we can do is not that much. I used to focus on uh the saying, you know, change what you can't accept and accept what you can't change. But what if you can't accept the things that you can't accept? You truly can't change it. You're just modifying it. Because all in all, it's God's choice to what can be changed and what can't. What if the things that we want to change, we can't? I think that's a test to whether or not we'd really truly stay faithful. Because if God is faithful all the time, unwaveringly faithful, unmovingly faithful, the things that we want, if they don't come to us and we don't get them would we also in turn stay faithful as well there's a lot of questions that i ask myself a lot of the time but yeah trusting god's timing isn't easy it's one of the hardest things when you become a follower of christ on the outside to those god did not call you're trusting the fact that one man who is god that god came down in the flesh and lived an existence of an in of a just of human being and in order for us to not perish in order for us to not be burdened by sin grief and death he came and lived a life as a human and died for us so that we can be with him when this body ends to someone who has no idea what we're talking about i can only imagine how far-fetched that might sound but god is real it doesn't sound too far-fetched to me and i think what i'm coming to say in this closet confession trusting god's timing isn't easy because that means that might involve waiting or it means it might involve your path changing or it means it might involve your heart breaking to some extent not because he's breaking it because he wants to but he's breaking something within us and that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes but we have to understand that it's all for our good it means something because we mean something to him so if that means that we just gotta wait then we gotta wait but we serve a mighty god a loving god a kind god a God that is slow to anger, despite all of our mess ups. So if you're having a hard time trusting God's timing, my word of encouragement to you would be not to have any fear of things that you don't know of. You can't miss things that you never had, but I'm sure it can be very scary to fear things that you don't know. 
like walking in the dark and not knowing whether or not you're gonna bump into something or fall off a cliff or something, you know? But God tells us throughout scripture, throughout his word to never fear. Don't fear, be brave. And I think the bravest thing that we can do as believers is trusting in God and trusting in his timing. I don't know, even with my YouTube channel, I don't know where it's gonna take me. I'm hoping that I'm ministering to someone and I, I'm blessing people with my goofiness, my personality and my content. I don't know, I, I might not get more than 100 subscribers. I might not even get to a million subscribers, but the people who, for all of you who are subscribed to me now, you're a blessing to me because you get to sit and watch my growth in all of my wackiness. And I get to talk to you like this with, my puppy. <laughs> I hope that this encouraged someone and I hope that this ministered to you in whatever way that God has sent me to you. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, comment your thoughts and, and testimonies. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe and also hit the notification bell and let me know if you want more videos like this in the future. I'll definitely keep pushing them out somehow. <laughs> and also remember if no one told you today or at any point. I love you. Bye.